I'm going to be using carbocane today on the tip of cane, 3%. Make sure that that is engaged. Now, even though I'm doing a lower block, I'm going to start with a 27 gauge short. And then we're going to switch to the 25 gauge long. Just to ascertain where we're going to place the injection. I always use my thumb as you are taught. I find the ramus, the ascending ramus. I find what I call the notch, which has a very, very long name that I can't even pronounce. But at any rate, I am searching for that sweet spot about halfway up the ramus. My thumb is just at the occlusal surface of the lower molar and my thumbnail in the middle is approximately where I'll be injecting. At the same time, I'm using my left index finger and I am judging the angle of Dr. Burpee's jaw. That tells me much as to where I should be aiming, if you will. He appears to have a very, very normal proportion of the angle of the jaw, the ascending ramus, his body type, etc. You may close. In the area of the injection, I'm going to feel around again. Right about there, I want to completely dry the tissues where the injection will happen. Put the topical on. Notice it's on the side of the Q-tip. Lots of times that gives you a good concentration of anesthesia exactly where you need it. I'm going to take the cotton. I'm going to place it right over that area and have the young man close. That keeps the topical anesthesia exactly where I want it. If you do not use a 2x2 two two on that, it tends to spread throughout the mouth. Elderly people in particular will spend the next half hour swallowing and, and it just makes your job harder. The 2x2 two two confines the topical anesthesia precisely where I want it. The next thing I want to do is where is the bevel? You can do that by simply visualizing or putting a little bead of the material anesthesia out. I want that bevel toward the mandibular foramen. Since this is the lower left, I'm going to be holding it like yay. Again, the bevel is going to be toward the mandibular canal. Chin up just a little bit, please. Dr. Duarte, if you could hold the lower right lip down a little bit. And I do that so that the barrel does not does not pull on the lip. Makes it a little bit harder to smoothly inject. I have seen the area that I want to, and this is how I do this. I mean, I barely, and I mean barely, have I buried that tip. Now, I'm going to put about a third of this anesthesia in, start to pave the way. Now at this point, I'm actually going to remove, reposition my thumb so I can feel that bone. And now, since we do have some anesthesia in there already, I'm going to simply put about half of that needle in, aspirate, and slowly place another third of that carpule. Just a moment or two. Now I'm going to advance the short now. Aspirate and slowly. Inject the remaining carpule. Place that aside. I'm going to get a fresh two by two. And close, please. And now we're going to relax a moment.
one. Where is the bevel? Lower left, so I want to have the bevel aimed in this direction, like yay. Open kind, sir. With my left index finger, I'm feeling the angle of that jaw. With my thumb, I'm feeling the, quote, notch. Thank you, doctor. And now I'm going to go ahead and administer the second copule. Aspirate. Very slow. Now, I'm actually not going to inject the remainder of this. I just wanted, this is for demonstration purposes only. There's no reason for Dr. Burpee to be numb all day. So I'll remove. And you may close up. And I didn't feel the second injection at all. 